for summertime. It's wedding time. Yes. Weddings are breaking out everywhere. And another thing I started hearing so many years ago, you can't put out rice at weddings. Don't exactly. throw the rice Everybody at weddings. Exactly. Everybody changed, yeah. Why? Well, the birds are going to pick up the rice. Right. They're going to swallow it. And the rice is going to swell up. The birds are going to explode. Right. Uh, whatever. It's going to kill them. And uh, exploding birds, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> the, that's not true. And But people get these things going, and it's, oh, like urban well, legends. Well, people literally stop throwing rice at weddings Absolutely. over it. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, a lot of people start throwing millet, which yeah. is a nice ground food. There's nothing wrong with that. But the rice isn't going to hurt anything. If you think about it logically... Take some rice and put it on the table. It's not going to do anything. Take the hard rice and swallow it. Why is it going to, it, why, it's not going to do anything. But why? You have to boil it. Yeah. You can put rice in water. It's just not going to do a whole lot. Yeah. If it, unless it's boiling. And it's not boiling inside of a bird. I never thought about it that yeah. way. So right. it's not going to do anything. I don't think you'll have too many birds eating it. Yeah. Because it's, they just don't. It's just, right. it's a hard little thing, but some birds would eat it, but it, you throw it out, it's fine. It won't hurt anything. Yeah. That's amazing how that myth just got so propagated. And I get the one about the baby birds. Like if you touch a baby bird, it'll kill it. Everybody's mother probably said that because they didn't want you to mess with them. But that's another myth. But um, definitely the birds, the the rice, you just wonder where that came from. Yeah. That's uh, actually a couple of good ones right there in touching your baby birds. (laughs) And then you realize that the birds have virtually no sense of smell. So even if they were didn't like you, they wouldn't be able to smell you on, on their on their little ones. So it's Probably best, though, for kids to leave them alone. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> At so. least maybe there was a method to that madness. Yeah.